All right, in this video, we're going to go over anonymous classes, which is a, a really nice new feature of PHP 7. So before we get into some code, I just want to go over a couple PowerPoint slides, uh, just talking a little bit about what anonymous classes are. So at the most fundamental level, an anonymous class is a class definition without a name. OK, we can create classes that do not have to have a name. They're defined just like any other class. They can be assigned to a variable and they can even extend classes. They can implement interfaces and use traits. OK, and they do have an internally generated name that we don't see. Um, so basically, they're the same thing. They're just unnamed. So some of the use cases where you might use these creating a simple and single use class or single use classes. Uh, late, lightweight interfaces such as loggers and observers. Um, you might use them to override a single field of a class without using subclasses. And you can use them in unit testing, mocking tests by creating implementations on the fly. So here's a normal class example. Uh, nothing spectacular. We just have class and then we named it my class. We would define our properties and methods here. Here we're just it's instantiating it. We're creating an object, setting it to new my class, and then whatever arguments that need to be passed in. So here's an anonymous class example. We're creating a variable uh, for our object, and we're setting it to new class. And notice that there's no name here. We're just passing in arguments, uh, and then we can define our properties and methods. Okay, so saves us a little bit of white space. Uh, now what we'll do is jump into our text editor and I can give you some examples. All right, so let's jump in and let's demonstrate how an anonymous class works. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this really simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a class and we're going to call this my class. All right, and in this class, we're going to have two properties. They're going to be protected. So we'll have one called my foo and we're not going to assign it to anything. And then we're going to have one called my bar and we're going to set that to a string. And we're just going to say I am the my bar property. All right. So let's also create a constructor. So this will be public function double underscore construct. OK, that's going to take in a value. All right. And then down here, we're going to assign that value to uh, my foo. OK, so we'll say my foo is equal to value. Oh, this should be val. All right. Now we're going to create another function here. Let's say public function and we're going to call this return prop. OK, and then that's going to take in a prop name. And we're going to check for it. We'll say if uh, if is not empty. This dot prop name. Actually, that should have um, a dollar sign here. So if it's not empty, we're going to return this dollar sign prop name. All right, uh, and then we're going to have an else. And if it's not there, if it doesn't match, then we're just going to return a string. We'll say property not found. We'll put a br tag. Let's put a br tag up here as well. OK, so what we have here is just a class called my class has two properties, has a constructor, has a return prop method. So nothing new here and we're not dealing with anonymous classes yet. So before we do uh, I do demonstrate what we can do with an anonymous class. Let's create a class that extends this one. All right, so down here we're going to create a class and let's call this 
my class extension and then we're going to say extends my class and then in here we're going to say protected my bar and we're going to set that we'll say i am an extended object all right now if we want we can go ahead and instantiate we'll just create a variable called object and uh, let's set that to new my class extension and let's pass in a string and we'll just say extend it okay and then here let's go ahead and echo object return prop and let's pass in my foo okay and then we'll do the same thing with my bar all right so let's save that and run it uh what's this could not be converted to string line 12. Oh, I put a dot <laughs> using JavaScript syntax. All right, save that. Okay, so we're getting extended and we're getting I am extended object. All right, because we have a my foo and a my bar. If I change this to my foo two and save it, we get property not found. If I change this to my bar two, we get property not found. All right, so nothing new here. Now what I'm going to do is comment this block out. And what we'll do is say object and we're going to set this to an anonymous class. So we just say new class. All right. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. This is going this is going to extend my class. All right, now my class takes in uh, with the constructor, it takes in a value that's to be set to my foo. So right in here, we're just going to put in anonymous. All right, and then in here, we're going to say protected my bar, and I'm going to set that to a string. And it'll say, I am an anonymous object, not mouse. All right. Now to instantiate or to call, um, let's say we want to call return prop from this new anonymous class. What we can do is just echo. Actually, what I'll do is copy this. Okay. And let's see what that gives us. Uh, let's see, unexpected echo. Oh, we want to have a semicolon right here. All right, so we get anonymous, and I am an anonymous object. All right, because my foo is being passed in right here as anonymous, and then we're assigning my bar to this string, so that's what it's spitting out here. All right. So this is a really good example on um, where to use an anonymous class. Okay, Instead of doing this, creating a named class and extending it, we can use an anonymous class. Okay, so that's it, and I'll see you in the next video.